This presentation is for students who are entering grade 10. Welcome to the grad class of 2026. We are planning for graduation and beyond. Course planning takes place in the month of February. Parents and student information is available on the website. Uh, this has given you an opportunity to explore your passions and your interests. Planning information is in term three classes. Please take the time to talk to your teachers, parents and counselors. Investigate post-secondary requirements. This is a great ex excellent opportunity to talk to your counselors or career advisors. Download the course catalog and planning guide. You can find that on the school website. Complete your grade 10 course selection form. You will be required to enter your course selections onto your MyEd account, so please make sure you can access your MyEd account and you will be submitting your course selection forms to your career life teacher by February 21st. Why are we planning now? It takes a while to get all these grad requirements done. Please note, by the time you graduate, you must successfully pass language arts, which is English, 10, 11, and 12. You must pass social studies, 10, 11, or 12. You must also successfully complete a science 10 and a science 11, a math 10, a math 11, and a PE 10. Career life education is a required course, as is Career Life Connections 12A, Career Life Connections 12B, and Capstone. You must complete a fine arts or applied skilled course at the grade 10, 11, or 12 level, plus an additional seven courses, which is 28 credits, must be completed. Of those, 12 credits, or three courses, must be at the grade 12 level. At least four credits must be with Indigenous content. You will also be required to complete the numeracy assessment and the literacy assessment in grade 10 and the literacy assessment in grade 12. All of these requirements are mandated by the provincial government. This is the exact same bit of information. It's just written out in a slightly different format. Anything that is in red is non-negotiable uh, and they must be successfully completed over your three years in high school. This is a, a copy of the grade 10 course selection form. Please note uh, that you will be expected to complete it carefully uh, and submit it into your career education teacher. We keep these, uh, these course selections for a year so that we can refer to them in case we have any discrepancies. You will be required to choose one English course, at least one English course, one social studies course, Science 10. You will get to choose one of your physical education courses. You will get to choose between two math courses, Choose three electives, um, they're your primary choices. Choose three electives as backup courses. If you're interested in anything outside the timetable, please let us know in that in section eight. Uh, there's a spot for parents and guardians to sign, uh, and there's also a spot for your signature. Additionally, if you have any specific requirements we need to know about, please enter that into the notes for counselor section. So if you're interested in specialty programs such as trades or advanced uh, advanced placement courses, we need to know so we can plan for the future. These things take a couple years to plan and we want to start as soon as possible. So as I said, all students must complete English uh, 9, 10, 11, and 12. At the grade 10 level, you have several different options that are available for you. English 10 is a graduation required course and all students are automatically assigned to a two credit English composition course. In addition, uh, students can choose between several different ways to act also get their English. We have a literary studies, uh, we have uh, new media or creative writing. Additionally, there's humanities, fine arts. There is uh, Gram X English, and those are all ways that students can get their English 12 requirement completed. All students must take one social studies option. If you're taking Gram X, then you'll be automatically enrolled in Gram X 10 social studies. If you're doing human Humanities, Fine Arts, English, you'll be automatically enrolled in Humanities, Fine Arts, Social Studies. And if you're doing any of the other Englishes, you will be um, registered in Social Studies 10. All students
students must complete math 9, 10, and 11 at the, um, in order to graduate. This choice can greatly impact your future. Some programs do require math 12, so we want to make sure that you're planning ahead. Please talk to your math teacher, uh, read the information in the catalog, and do a little bit of career research over the next little while. Uh, the choice of math you want to take may depend or may impact um, which math you can take over the following years, which will also impact which courses you can take at university. You can always upgrade at a later time, but remember, courses at high school are free and you have multiple opportunities to take the same course. If you're not successful in a course, you can take it again. That's okay. All students must use uh, science. At the grade 10 level, there is one science that's available unless you're in grade Gram X Science 10. Science 10 is required for all grade 11 science courses and Gram offers chemistry, life sciences, including honors, physics 11, earth science 11, and science for citizens. From then on, students can take anatomy and physiology, chemistry, AP chemistry, AP biology, physics 12, or geology 12. Please note there are two pathways into uh, the AP Biology, and if you could read the course catalog, that will describe that more carefully. You can also talk to your science teacher about that. In grade 10, you can pick three elective courses plus additional outside the timetable. Uh, if you've already taken a second language in grade 9, I strongly suggest you keep going in your grade 10, 11 year. Staying with band, now is a good time to try orchestra if you haven't tried it before. Start planning for specialty programs, advanced placement courses. Um, you need to be planning for your future in that. Long-term planning, like for trades or regional career programs, please talk to Ms. Bottenheimer or your counselor about planning for that. Out outside of the timetable courses, some courses only run outside the timetable. And if that's the case, you'll have regular courses during the timetable, plus the additional ones outside. Uh, electives are all about your passions, what you're interested in, and please be reminded that electives are never guaranteed. Grad requirements are guaranteed, electives are not. The course booklet and planning guide has all this information. The courses um, are written by the teachers who teach the courses. The program information is written by the teachers who who um, do that program. So all that information is in the course planning booklet. Please read very, very carefully as it is very well laid out. You can get, you can download a copy from the GWM website or there are hard copies available at the school. Please consider saving a tree and download a copy and you can search it in PDF format. The process you need to be uh, planning over for the next little while. Complete your blue course selection form with five required courses, English, Social Science, Math, PE. You're going to give us your three elective courses, plus your three alternate elective courses, and any outside the timetable courses you might need. If we need to know what your career plans are, such as trades or advanced placement, please put that information in the comment box. Take your blue course selection form home. Make sure your parents are aware and they've signed it. Take a photo of your course selection form and you will be entering your course requests into your MyEd. Please make sure you can access your MyEd so this is a fairly smooth process. And the course selection forms are due to your career ed teacher by February 21st. What do I need to do before I enter my request and submit my forms? Talk to your teachers. Make sure you know what you're asking, which information you're looking for. Ask about program entrance requirements. If you're planning on going into AP, what is that going to look like? If you're planning on going into the trades, what do you, what's that going to look like? Ms. Harry and Ms. Bottenheimer are available in room 239 to ask, answer questions around career choices. The course, um, read your course description booklet. Everything in there has been written and very well by the teachers who teach the courses. Watch the course presentations. Make sure you're paying attention to what's going on. Talk with your parents or guardians. Take their advice. They really are very smart. With information, you can make informed decisions. Please take the time and effort. This is your future and we want you to make really good decisions and own, and own your future. Complete your form. Take a photo. Don't lose it. Uh, you want to make sure that you have a copy of this for your records. 
You will be entering your requests into your MyEd account. Please make sure you can access your MyEd account. And you're going to submit your form for your teacher so that the counselors can keep it on file for the next year. The plus part of the plan, career life education. You will be assigned to a career life education 10 class next year, uh, and you will be required to use the My Blueprint computer program to document all your learning. Career life education is a graduation requirement. This is not a negotiable. If you do not successfully complete the course, you will have to take it again. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact your counselors by Alpha or if you're interested in anything around uh, career planning or trades, you can please contact Ms. Bottenheimer or Ms. Um, Harry, and they can be found in, new, new, in room 239 on the second floor. I hope this information has been helpful. Please reach out to your counselors or any of the staff in the building if you have any questions.